Hi, this is Dr. Spencer Zimmerman with Idaho Brain and Body Institute. So one of the most common questions I get is, what happens during my initial exam? First, the initial exam we do, it's very extensive and it's very thorough. It's not a quick 30 to 45 minute exam. It's actually closer to about an hour and a half. And the reason why it's an hour and a half is because for the patients I see who have neurological or psychiatric based symptoms or conditions, so let's go with concussions, depression, PTSD, anxiety, um, traumatic brain injury, vertigo, and the list goes on and on. These really need a very comprehensive evaluation. So the basic part of it, as you'll see here, it's called the Vital 5 Core Health Program. Now, what we start with is a very thorough health history. It's important to know if you have ongoing depression or brain fog, memory issues, hey, what happened in your past? Even if it was a car accident 20 years ago that you thought didn't matter, maybe there was ongoing whiplash or concussion related issues to that that was never addressed and treated. These don't just magically go away. And I see this in a very high percentage of those who have chronic depression is there's something else that has triggered it. And that's why for them, a lot of the medications are not working the way they should. After we do the history, it's about finding out what is happening within the brain. How healthy is the brain? First thing that will happen is we've got to look at your eyes. Your eyes are a window into your brain health. And so what we do is we put on goggles that is going to record every single thing your eyes do during this testing. Not only will we have tracings, but we'll have videos of what your eyes do. And then after we do this testing, we'll also do your balance testing. Balance is a very important part and it's seen in multiple issues, concussions, traumatic brain injuries, um, dizziness, vertigo, even neurodegenerative based conditions and depression can have changes in balance because it lets me know the health of your brain. And the last thing that we do in this very extensive initial evaluation is we look at your brain waves. So most people have went, they've had imaging, they've had MRIs, they've had CT scans, and they're told it's normal, normal, normal. Those are very good and important if we're worried about a stroke. They're great if we're worried about a fracture. But for other things where we're just looking at functionality and alterations there, they often come up really short of what we need. And so what we do is we use what's called a QEEG, so a quantitative electroencephalogram, to monitor and record your brain waves. There's a wide variety of brain waves that each person has. Now, there's certain amounts that it should be spread. If it's not right, this can help us to further diagnose and to evaluate anxiety, depression, PTSD, chronic concussion issues, learning disabilities, and more. This is a very simple test um, that takes about 20 to 30 minutes. And what we do, I'm gonna grab it right now, is there's a headset like this, okay? This goes on your head and it gets pulled down, clips go on your ears. Now with this is it goes to a computer which is going to record and take in all of that information and then we get it processed. And whenever we get a process, we can tell you about what's happening in different parts of your brain from a brainwave standpoint. Brainwaves ultimately determine function. There are certain brainwaves that you have when you sleep, certain brainwaves you should not have when you sleep, certain brainwaves you should not have at rest, and certain brainwaves you should not have at rest. And really the list goes on and on. So this is what an initial exam looks like. It's very thorough, it's long, it's extensive but it's key to helping the majority of the patients we see here in the clinic on a day-to-day -day basis, because we've got to find out what is going wrong within the brain and how do we address it. And ultimately our plan of care is based upon those findings that we get from the balance testing, eye movement testing, and the brainwave testing, because each person gets a unique plan tailored specifically for them. I hope this helped you in coming to a better understanding of what to expect during your initial visit here at Idaho Brain and Body Institute. If this video helped you, please give us 
a like, comment, or tag someone you believe who will benefit. And just look for other videos as we'll show you a little bit more in detail about the eye movement testing, the brainwave testing, as well as the balance testing.